All protocol observed, Maclo Mandela is my name. And I'm going to be personifying myself as coronavirus. You don't have to take it to heart or take it as a sensitive matter because I'm trying to explain the impact of coronavirus on the country and as a nation. My name is coronavirus and I hide beneath the blooming flower like a serpent. I don't care who you are. If you are ignorant to hygienic practices, principles of cleanliness and health, whether you are a president, rich or poor, or socialite, my venom are just under my teeth. I always hear your preachings. Wear your mask all the time. Sanitize your hands. Keep a one meter distance. You always sanitize my image. How do you expect me to survive? You ignorant mother, father, and child. If you don't listen to the advice of your health workers and president, my venom are just under my teeth. Beware, beware, beware. For warned is for armed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now I'm contradicting myself. Yes, let's talk about what the Bible says about the signs of the end of times. We don't know. Maybe we might be living in the end of times because there is now a disease called coronavirus. The Bible said that there are going to be diseases that are incurable. Maybe this is one of them. Who knows? But what all we can do is that we should always keep our faith. No matter what the circumstances, no matter what, we should always keep our faith. For we never know the day of rapture or we never know the day the Son of Man may come. Beware, beware, beware. Just know that God loves you and thank you for listening to me.